let's not beat around the bush. GZ Doom is the most popular source port by a mile. Its ability to be easily adjusted and modded to one's liking is definitely a very appealing aspect. And its lack of vanilla accuracy compared to some other ports is something only turbo nerds care about. But did you know there was a distinct possibility of it being abandoned? I want to tell you a bit about that, but first, allow me to introduce you to Graf Sol. Got that name down? Good, because for the rest of the video I'm going to call him Lay No Chicken. To say Lay No Chicken has a bit of an ego is like saying a ghost pepper is a bit spicy. I suppose if you were the lead developer of the most popular source port, then some of that ego is a bit justified. One of GZ Doom's selling points was that its current version boasted to run as many wads and mods as possible. However, there are a few select mods that don't run in GZ Doom, one of which is a mod for the original Z Doom called Lilith.pk3. You might have heard of this one, and you might want to read that disclaimer before we go any further with this because the footage is going to get a little bit messy. Released by Anatak in 2017, Lilith is a map set with very glitchy and warped graphics, intentionally exploiting the technical bugs of ZDoom's software engine. This mod didn't run well in GZ Doom, however, because its hardware acceleration and updates to the code weren't capable of displaying said warped graphics properly. The developer made sure to let users know that you need to use ZDoom in particular to make sure it worked. The mod initially received a mixed reception by the rest of the community, with most people either loving or hating it. Its avant-garde nature was definitely appealing to those who could dig that sort of thing. Lay No Chicken, however, did not dig that sort of thing. Or at least didn't dig this mod. Perhaps this map set was seen as a challenge to his ego. A mod that didn't run in GZ Doom? How absurd. He made sure to let people know of his distaste for the mod. He posted repeatedly how people like Anatak were losers that made retarded mods, and had no plans whatsoever to make it GZ Doom compatible. Regardless, it still managed to garner a bit of attention in the Doom community. In December 2017, the CAC Awards was doing its 14th ceremony. The CAC Awards are an annual awards ceremony on Doom World that honors that year's most prominent Doom mods. One of the mods in the top 10 was, you guessed it, Lilith.pk3. The award for Lilith, written by the modder Terminus S13, hails Lilith as a truly unique experience one we've never had before, probably will never have again, and well worth grabbing a copy of the now-defunct Z-Doom just to play with. Lay No Chicken was furious. He didn't really care for some of the other picks either, preferring the mods that showed off GZ Doom's capabilities in particular. The inclusion of Lilith.pk3, however, made him wish to write off the CAC Awards entirely, comparing it to the Oscars and implying that cronyism had a part to play in both. Back when Doom World had an upvote downvote reaction to comments, Lay No Chicken upvoted negative reviews and downvoted positive reviews, and was alleged to use sock puppets to further boost both of these. The Doom World community mocked Lay No Chicken by giving him the title Salty Member, a title his Doom World profile still wears till this very day. Everyone had a laugh about it until December 18th, 2017. Rachel of the Z Doom forums, someone who has also been working on GZ Doom, made this post. This is an ugly prospect to think about, but a very real one that must at this point be considered. Recently, the CAC Awards debate has brought a number of issues upon Graf's all. As some of you know, a map set that Graf has been highly critical of got the first mention in this year's CAC Awards. It's pretty easy to see how the whole thing might be a ploy just to upset him. While I can easily understand Lilith getting a CAC award at all, what bothers me is that it got the very first mention. And that seems to be no coincidence. Graf being Graf, he took the bait, hook, line, and sinker, and suddenly found himself embroiled in a controversy that ended with Doomworld changing his title to Salty Member. He has not been seen since three days after that happened. However, it appears that his account is still active on Doomworld even if only to check on things every hour or so. Regardless of the controversy itself, which was only provided for background info, the real issue is this. I have not been able to get a hold of Graf since last Wednesday, and in the interest of not leaving people with a highly insecure version of GZ Doom, 
I had to do a release without his authorization, because if GZ Doom is officially abandoned, it might as well at least be a version that is hardened so that its legacy remains safe and strong. This act went on for a bit, with Lay No Chicken remaining quiet for quite some time. However, he was able to continue work on GZ Doom in this silence, eventually working on some builds after some time passed. It took him a while to get back into developing in full force, but it's kind of funny and also simultaneously worrying that something like this was capable of making him lose his lid. But legends say he is still quietly seething about Lilith to this very day. That salty member title is well earned, Lay No Chicken. Well earned indeed. That's all I have for you guys. While I hold no personal gripes with Grafsol or any developers of GZ Doom in general, nor do I have as many gripes with GZ Doom as I may have implied in my first Source Ports video, I thought it was still an interesting incident that was worth making a video about. If you liked the video, thumb it up, and if you want, you can support me with a coffee in the description. Never necessary, but always appreciated. Thanks for watching, and until next time, toodaloo. If you want to mock me, I will show you a real salty member. No.